from what I saw in the field. What I saw was ghastly, shocking, shattering to my senses. I saw something which I should never have seen. I heard many things which I should never have heard. If you have tears, this is the time to shed those tears. If you have sighs to heave, heave them now. That how horrible human life is, where the law cannot take its course. You know, what I saw there remind me of what Shakespeare said, the hell is empty, all the devils are here. That was the situation which was there. When I listened to my mothers and sisters there, I couldn't believe that this could happen in Kobe Guru Rabindranath Tagore's place. Imagine a happy home, husband and wife, grown-up children, including girl children. Some goon comes from inside the house, catches hold of the grown-up child, girl child, assaults the wife in front of the husband and beats up the husband when he protests. This is no fiction. This is not was I was told happened in this village in the last few days. They know who did this. The goons, they know. They are at large. This shocks civilized senses anywhere. This can never happen. We should fight it out under the Constitution. I will fight it out under the Constitution. I will fight it out within the laws of the land. I will fight it out the democratically elected government of the state, certainly we will spare no efforts to see that the guilty are punished. Confidence is restored in the women, a society which leaves its women to fend for themselves, to defend for themselves. If the women had to come out of the houses in numbers and protest against this ghastly crime that went around unchecked by the authorities, shame for us, shame for society. This is not what should happen in a civilized place like Bengal. Sir, are you going to be Delhi to submit report? I will spare no efforts to contain this Malay. I cannot tell you exactly the steps that I will take now. I can only tell you whatever is within my limited powers, I will do.